Hi, you beautiful human beings. It's your boy Nathan Cha, and today we're talking fashion or style or whatever you want to term it. Since this is a situation, and I felt very inspired to do a little video about this topic. As some of you might know, I am actually a trained fashion designer, so um, I've spent six years in fashion education. I've actually spent a lot of time learning about the subject matter and the contextual framework and the history of fashion. So um, I'm basically a nerd in the specific field. <laughs> and to this day, even though I don't actively work as a fashion designer right now, but I've sort of like branched out into fine arts and other performance perspectives, I'm like still super passionate about this because as a trans person, as a queer trans person, I feel like a big part of my personality and how I present that in society is really defined by fashion or you know like gets transported by fashion so really my style choices are the way I communicate with the world around me and tell them what I'm all about. For me this subject is massively important because it allows me to you know break with the canon and break with what society has assigned for me. For example when I was growing up I was wearing a lot of dresses and I was you know really colorful and really femme in my presentation and at that moment that felt right um but like over time when i realized much more i'm actually you know transgender and like non-binary um i also got to reflect more on the way i would actually like to dress and on the elements of clothing they that make me feel more at home in my own body and I find it really interesting because this is a super political topic, you know, there are a lot of people invalidating trans people online and offline and whatnot, you know, like, there is transphobia a lot in this world, but um, a lot of people are being invalidated over their choice of clothing, and the funny thing is, I mean, you can't see it right now, what is, what is happening, friends? I have a beard, but I'm also wearing a skirt and stockings, and it's adorable. As fuck. So, you know, I'm very much for the entire premise of like clothing, not having any gender. Basically, everybody should be allowed to dress the way they want. And people make it out to be this utopian idea of like, oh my gosh, you can't just like let men wear dresses and skirts and whatnot. I mean, what will the children think? And like, I mean, I get to live this life as a trans person and I see children being confused and like sometimes I get children who are asking their parents oh my gosh mom is that a girl and it's like you know people are always making it about the kids but um really I think children like seeing people who are colorful and different and look happy and that's basically what we're doing we're being happy and happier in our skin when we get to choose the way we present so I'm really a big defender of the idea that we should get to choose our own self-presentation and choose our own versions of being in this world, whatever that might entail, you know. For me, a, lo a lot about the stuff is about my haircut um, and color and <laughs> accessories and makeup. And I love expressing myself with this. Also, I have like this light, tiny badge that says true colors because badges are amazing and queer badges are the most important and um yes so i really like going full out with this especially when i'm in an environment where a lot of people around me are really normative and i have a feeling like i am subjected to this very cis heteronormative worldview and all of the assumption those entail um and I am kind of like, I feel very trapped in this environment, but by dressing the way I do and by expressing myself the way I do and putting on makeup and sparkling and glittering and, you know, being very unapologetic about who I am and how hard I have fought for my identity and for my presentation, by doing this, I actually feel so incredibly empowered because I get to be in my body in the way that I define it and I get to be in this physical existence in the way that I tell to the world that is right. And nobody can really ever take that away from me because this is who I've decided to become. And the good thing is, 
I have noticed I had a very long time where I was doing my own thing, but I felt very uncomfortable in public because of a lot of like occurrences where I got to feel unsafe. A lot of uh, instances where people actively went out of their way to make me feel like I don't get to do this. <laughs> and that really affected my mental health to a really big degree. Um, and social anxiety was a super big part of that. Now I sort of like because my energy levels have shifted and gone up and like I can be more positive right now I'm actively taking steps to going out into the world and basically facing it with this idea that this is how I am, this is who I am and you're either gonna accept me or you're not but that's not my issue so I really like to make sure that my energy stays with me and stays in this like positive sphere that I've created for myself because then people can't take it away from me. That's a really big recommendation I have for anybody out there who would like to go more into that direction of like just being themselves and like expressing it with like different means. You're so fucking valid and I really want you to know that you can do this and um, just be empowered by what you're deciding and be aware that this is absolutely valid and you don't ever have to justify it to anybody else. And if people make you feel like shit or make you feel a certain way that's uncomfortable for you, that is their issue. That's not yours. You are just here existing as your true self and that's beautiful and that's amazing and you should totally go for that and I support you. And please don't ever let the system get you down. So that's my little talk on fashion and self-expression and I hope you got to take something away from this. Yeah, if you want to check me out on Instagram, it's at Nathan Cha with a tiny underscore at the end or at Nathan X Cha. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Um, leave a like or a comment if you want to and uh, sending you lots of love and stay beautiful and radiant. <laughs> Ah... Uh. <laughs>